So basically, throw your material in, close the lid, drag and drop your design, use a preset or your own setting and begin engraving. The M1 laser cutter and engraver from Xtool has to be the easiest to use and most cost effective option for someone wanting to get into laser engraving. On top of that, it is also a vinyl cutter, but there are some things you need to consider before buying. We are going to run through some fun projects and take a beginner's look at this machine to make sure it's the right one for you. Before we dive into the projects today, let's look at some interesting specs. And also, stay to the end of the video and I will tell you how to win one of these for free depending on the time that you are watching this video. The Xtol M1 uses a diode laser for engraving and cutting and comes in two versions, the 5 and 10 watt. For this video, I am using the 10 watt. When you open the box, this is what you get. There is no assembly required. On the Xtol D1 Pro lasers I have behind me, the assembly time is around 30 minutes or so. The fact that this is a plug and play is a plus in my book. On the back of the M1, you will find all of the hookups and the built-in ventilation system. It took me about one minute to attach the ventilation hose, which I am currently using by sticking out the window. I am finding the ventilation fans to have a strong airflow with noticeable smoke removal. The M1 has a blue light filtering lid which protects your eyes while the laser is in use. The overall aesthetic inside the unit is clean with an engraving area of 15 by 11.8 inches. The base plate is also removable to accommodate the RA2 Pro rotary attachment or awkward shaped materials. Be sure to use the provided risers while using the RA2 attachment. If you plan on cutting through wood or other materials, metal slats are included which are called triangular prisms. These are made to be placed underneath the material so air can circulate properly. It's interesting to see how Extol is marketing this diode laser to compete with other CO2 laser companies like the Glowforge at 60% less cost with comparable features. Check this out. The M1 is portable with a weight of 21.6 pounds, measuring 22 by 17.5 by 9 inches. The laser module has a carving precision of 0.01 millimeters, which Extol is claiming to be better than the CO2 Glowforge laser, which has a carving precision of 0.0254 millimeters. My favorite feature of the Extol M1 is the 16 megapixel camera, which gives you a live preview of the cutting area. When you place an object in the engraving area and close the lid, a snapshot is made and you can drag and drop the design directly on the material and center it up. It also has a smart AI fill option if you want to engrave the same design on multiple objects. Up until recent, you could hardly find a diode laser that offered a camera at this price point. Also, the M1 has autofocus. You no longer have to manually focus the laser module like with the other diode lasers. This is a huge plus. So basically, throw your material in, Close the lid, drag and drop your design, use a preset or your own setting and begin engraving. Now let's get to Extol's main selling point with the M1. It's a hybrid laser, meaning it can cut vinyl and other materials with a blade that you could not do normally with a laser. I do very little vinyl cutting, so I plan on selling my silhouette and using this to save space. If you spend many hours cutting vinyl and other similar materials, I wouldn't necessarily buy this machine just for that, but if you are a craft person, this might be a good all-in-one solution for you. The M1 also works with Wi-Fi, so you can connect wirelessly. I've tested this with my MacBook Pro and it works great. It also has an app that you can use with your phone. Before we cover the reasons why you may not want this machine, let's run through some fun projects right quick so you can become familiar with the way the M1 operates. To my knowledge, the M1 operates exclusively with Xtol software called Creative Space, and I will give it to Xtol on this one. The software is so user-friendly. It has many features, even presets you can go through. If you click on the Projects tab, you can scroll through hundreds of projects and bring them directly into the editor without touching any settings. For our first project, I am going to use one of the presets that I found in the software. Let's try this one. 
after I imported the project, I am going to resize it. Then on the right side, I am going to click on height raised and click triangular prism since we have this raised up on the metal slats. Then I'm going to hit auto measure and we should be good to go. I am going to process this and then hit start. And the only thing left to do is to hit the start button on the front of the M1. And this project turned out really good. The M1 handled it very well. And I was very surprised of how well it turned out with everything just being auto settings. I think it took around 16 to 18 minutes. The only thing I need to do now is to add an air assist to this. For the next project, I am going to engrave some metal business cards. So I'm doing the test on this one metal card here and I put down a piece of white paper so we could see the actual card since it was black and I'm putting my logo on here. And as with the first project, I probably could have sped this up just a little bit more, but the results turned out really good. And overall, I am pleased with the results. I plan to do a batch of these coming up soon. For the next project, I want to try out these wooden dock tags. And these came with the little starter pack that came with the M1, which is pretty awesome. They have a ton of different materials that you can engrave and cut. So after you drop your image down, just click Smart Fill. And this did really good. I did have to adjust a few of these, but overall, it did really great. I'm trying these dog tags at different settings because I want to see the most efficient way to do this while maintaining quality. And there we go. I'm happy with the way these turned out. I'm going to make a few more of these and send them off with my handmade artwork. I also engraved this picture of Grogu from The Mandalorian, and this was actually my first engraving, and it turned out fantastic. I couldn't be happier with this one right here. Let's test the blade cutter. To remove the blade holder from the laser module, just pull it out. It is magnetic, and now we need to install a blade. To do this, just click down on the stem and carefully insert the sharp blade into it, just like that. And so that's all it is. And it will do the rest, so just click it back and you should be good to go. The next step is to insert the sticky grip mat, which sticks to the bottom of the base plate and to the vinyl. This will keep the vinyl in place while the blade is cutting it. I'm going to cut out this maple leaf right here. So after we get the size we want, we want to go over to the right of the screen and click on blade cut. This will let it know that we are using the blade cutter. And we're going to use some stock settings and hit start. After it was cut out, I used some transfer tape to pick the image up. And I found a CD drive here, so I'm just going to press on the vinyl sticker. And it looks great besides that one part that I messed up because I got a wrinkle in the transfer tape. I'm going to try the same design on a piece of PVC paper. It cut right through it. So I am going to take the template that I just made and put it on the included bag that Extol sent. So I have two paint markers, one red and one green. I'm going along the edges here of the template with the green marker and just kind of fading it in. And now I am using the red in the middle. This would look much better if it was orange. And then I'm going back over it with green again. So you can kind of get an idea of how to use this vinyl cutter. I mean, it's looking great, so that's pretty cool. Just use your imagination. Now for the big question, is this laser right for you? I want to cover some things I really don't like about this. I was going to say the M1 has no available air assist, which would really affect the laser cutting. But I just discovered two days ago that the M1 now in fact has an air assist that just released. So my main complaint with this unit has just been solved and I like it a lot better. So I'm going to mark this off my list. The M1 also has a smaller cutting and engraving area compared to other X-Tool lasers. If you plan on doing larger projects in general, 
going with the D1 Pro Laser might be a better option for you. Xtol even makes an extension kit for the D1 Pro for those larger projects. And if you are going to do a lot of laser cutting, I'm also going to recommend the Xtol D1 Pro, preferably the 20 watt version. It will give you faster and cleaner results, especially with the air assist and the honeycomb grid attached. I have a hard time pulling away from my 20 watt when I'm doing a lot of cutting. This will still cut fine, but the 20 watt is just more efficient. Since this is an enclosed unit, it will need to be wiped down and cleaned regularly from the smoke and oils coming out of the material as you cut them out. But with that being said, maintenance should be performed on all lasers. Another thing I didn't like about this machine is when I went to wipe some dust off the lid, I actually scratched the surface of the lid with a microfiber cloth. Not that big of a deal, but I figured it would be a little more scratch resistant than that. Now for the things I do like. If you were just starting with a laser for the first time, the plug and play ability of the M1 laser coupled with the autofocus and real time camera will give you results fast. Other diode lasers will have a little longer learning curve. Glowforge lasers banks on the fact of how easy it is to engrave. And I think that is what Xtol is getting at here, the user experience. If you don't like tinkering around as much and need portability and convenience and want all the bells and whistles of a $5,000 CO2 laser in a diode unit, I think this is a great choice, especially when you can find this unit on sale for under $1,000. This to me is pretty wild because I got all the features that I wanted in one unit. And I believe this is the one laser the whole family could have fun with. One more thing, even though I mentioned the Glowforge, which is a CO2 laser, please understand there are some things that diode lasers like the M1 will not do. I am simply comparing this to the CO2 lasers for a feature comparison. Now, are you ready? It's time for the giveaway details, which is sponsored by Xtol. This giveaway is running right now until December 1st, 2022 and here's how to enter. Leave a reply to these two questions in the comment box below. Number one, what Xtol products have you bought in the Xtol Black Friday and Cyber Monday event? So if you bought something on these crazy days of sales, just list it below. And if you haven't, that's all right. Just put, I didn't buy anything, but I do like Xtol or something similar. Question number two, what are your creative ideas for some Christmas gifts or decor that you can make with Xtol products? This could be some type of Christmas ornament for your tree or just something cool you can hang on the wall. You have to be 18 years or older in order to participate in this giveaway. A random comment picker will pick the winner and you will be notified through a response to your comment on YouTube, so be sure to watch your notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find this laser and all the products that I mentioned in this video by clicking the affiliate links below. If you choose to buy through my links, it helps support my channel at no extra cost to you. This helps me so much and allows me to make videos like these. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Remember to enter that giveaway. All details are below.